morning, y'all. This is Cherie with PassionatePennyPincher.com, and today we are going to give Betty Crocker a run for her money with making some homemade sugar cookies with buttercream icing. And we are going old school today, y'all. I dug this out. This is the sweetest apron, and that was my husband's grandmother's, Grandma Stewart, and it's actually reversible, y'all. I mean, this is this is some serious apron making right here, and I'm going to wear it today because I pulled my regular apron out and it was I don't know I had gotten something on it and didn't um, wash it so this thing is awesome y'all I mean seriously look it has ties on the side I'm wondering if my mother-in-law has a few other few more of these that I could snag up I've got one more I know that actually has it's like for St. Patrick's Day or something. So I thought it would be a sweet thing to do in remembrance of her today. So she was a, a sweet, godly woman. Good morning, y'all. Okay, today I was thinking in the middle of the night I had insomnia and I started thinking about the song, Count Your Blessings. So today as y'all are hopping on, if y'all would just tell me a blessing that you're thankful for today, we will get the party rolling with, literally rolling with these cookies and I'm so excited to show, share this recipe with y'all. So, Sue, you said your grandma had one like this. Y'all have to see this. Oh, look, it has a little pocket too. It's so fun and cute and I don't know. I'm excited to wear it. I, I don't even know if I've ever even worn it before. No, Shane I, or Deborah, I don't think you can purchase them anywhere. This is like, oh my goodness. I bet it is like 70 years old or something like that. So, <laughs> Oh, y'all, I put makeup on today. Thank you. It was the first day in quite a while, I'm not going to lie. So it feels good to be dressed with nowhere to go, but I'm happy to be here with y'all and see y'all. So, okay, we're going to get started on these sugar cookies. The link is above. And, uh, you know, you usually think about like rolling out sugar cookies at Christmas time, but I thought with Easter coming up, this would be the perfect time. And we all have extra time and so grab your kids and you probably have everything in your pantry to make these so oh yeah I'm, I'm excited to see what y'all are uh thankful for oh Beth bless your heart day four fever free after testing positive for COVID oh we're praying for you sweetie good morning Michelle oh y'all are so sweet I love all y'all's blessings so y'all keep the blessings going and I'm gonna try to pull y'all up I don't know if I can be messing with flour and looking at comments at the same time without getting flour all over my computer, but I'm going to try. So I'm going to put y'all down so y'all can see what we're doing. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to put out some flour and I did clean my countertops like 50 times before we got started. Okay, there y'all are. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to just put some flour out here. Now I made up some, so we're also gonna ice them so we don't have to wait on the ones. But let me tell y'all a tip with this recipe, you want it to stay refrigerated overnight or at least eight hours because it needs to be cold. And I had a little bit of trouble yesterday with it because I, I was trying to take pictures and it just kept getting warm on me. But you can stick it back in the refrigerator, so. Ginger said, I'm a nurse that is not able to work, so I feel it's my duty. Oh, I missed that. I don't know if I can if I can see it again. Oh, bless your heart. Okay, y'all. Let me get, I'm gonna, I've gotten this, my flower out, so I'm trying to read y'all's comments, so I don't think I can do this and read your comments, but I will catch up with y'all. I gotta get my dough out of the refrigerator because I didn't want to get it out beforehand. So your dough, this is basic. You know what, I probably should have printed the recipe out. This is basic ingredients. Flour, sugar, shortening butter, vanilla, eggs. Okay, so it is a very, as you can see, a very stiff dough. And so, actually yesterday when I did it, it kind of worked better for me to just pat it out. This is my friend Anita's recipe, and she has a, a blog herself that I posted in the link to so you can go check her out she does all kinds of recipes and crafting 
uh, mainly crocheting. If y'all are into crocheting, you definitely want to check her out. But this is her recipe. She's made this for my family for years. You want to roll, okay, so you want to roll this out to about a fourth of an inch thickness. Okay, this is doing pretty good right now. So I've got a few cookie cutters over here. I really wish I had an egg. Y'all tried to do an egg. It was just kind of crazy, but I've got a butterfly. It's pretty springy. Good morning, Wendy. Good morning, Joyce from Iowa. Okay, these are doing good, y'all. It's really cold. Okay, let me. I don't know if I've got so much action going on over here. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. This is my cookie sheet with parchment paper on it, which I love to do. I usually like to do that or use a sill pat, which is a silicone baking sheet. So here's my little butterflies. And I've got a cross, because that's what Easter is all about, and I'm so thankful. I love this cross because it's so little. You can get it in all those little spaces that Um, you can't get another cookie cutter in because it's, there's not room. Okay, so I'm going to try this again. I don't know if I'll roll it. I think I'll just pat it. I'll do a couple of hearts. It's not Valentine's Day, but hey, we're thankful. Can y'all see him on here? if I can get another heart out of this one. I promise I'll catch up with y'all's questions, but this is one of those things that I just don't, I'm not an octopus. I don't have enough hands to, to look at y'all's comments. But y'all keep talking and um, please sprinkle the video with someone who might want to know how to make homemade cookies. Now, these cookies have cream of tartar and baking soda in them, so they do fluff up. And I do kind of have a funny cream of tartar story that I can't believe I'm going to tell y'all, but I'm going to. <laughs> so, as I was going to bake them, I got my cream of tartar out, and I was talking to my friend Anita on the phone, and I was like, oh, I wonder if I have cream of tartar. So, I went and looked, and... I did, and it said it expired in 2006, and I was about to die because I was like, I am not going to the store for cream of tartar. But I Googled it and found that you can do a test to see if your cream of tartar is still good. So here's your tip of the day with cream of tartar. You take about a half a cup of warm water and a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar and a sprinkling of baking soda Put it in a glass, and if it fizzes, then your cream of tartar is still good. And mine was bubbling away, so I was like, okay, I'm going with it. And I kept, you know, I read that it doesn't really go bad, which is, who knew? Like, I had no idea, but I'm almost out, and so I did. I, in my insomnia state last night, I was doing a Kroger pickup order. And I added me some fresh cream of tartar to my order. So we'll see if I get it. Another butterfly. I'm most excited to ice the cookies with y'all. Because we that's where we can get really creative. Oh, I don't know if I can move these over. Put them all on here. I know y'all can't see this part. I'm so sorry. All right, I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to call it done because I don't want to bore y'all too bad. Here's another heart. The hearts are just easier. They seem to come out better for me, although this one, I say that and now this one had a little bit of a trouble, but I think I'll put it on like that. Okay, I'm going to put these in the oven for six to eight minutes at 400 and we'll let those bake.
and I will see if I can see what y'all are talking about. All right, so what are y'all saying? You don't have any cream of tartar, Angie? Oh no, you know what? Google and see if there's a substitute. I'm wondering if maybe there is because I just feel like that there has to be because back in, you know, back, back when our grandmothers and stuff were making stuff all the time, I can't imagine that they couldn't work around that and find something. Okay, I'm gonna clean my space up just so I can get the cookies over here and get them icing. Y'all, these cookies are so, they're not a hard sugar cookie. I'm not a big fan of like a hard sugar cookie, but these are fluffy and soft and just pure deliciousness. I just love them. They're all a, a kind of, want to say they're like a shortbread, but then they're kind of not. They're just good. They puff up and you'll see. All right, so here we go. Let me show y'all all my colors that I've got. Good morning, Lutvik. Just use an oval for the egg. Okay, let me tell y'all, I tried. And you're, I'm fixing to show y'all <laughs> my uh, oval egg that is, looks, it looks like a potato. I'm not even lying. I didn't have an oval and I was trying to like squeeze a cup. But y'all, this is my, this is my one potato egg. <laughs> Cream of tartar for Play-Doh. Oh, that is so funny. What can I use instead of shortening? Oh, goodness. I don't know. I have no idea. But I would definitely Google that and see. Okay, can y'all? There we go. I think y'all can see. Okay, look at all my fun colors that I've got mixed up over here. Does anybody know what Doreen could, Doreen could use instead of shortening? I have no idea. I wish I did. All right. Let me see. I'm trying to think what I'm going to put. I didn't think fast enough of what I'm going to put these on, but it'll be all right. Okay. So I'm going to start with the cross. And do a little purple. So... When you get to the icing, this is buttercream icing like you have on cakes, okay? So, you want to be sure to not get it too thin. And so, if it starts seeming like it's too thin, then you can add some more powdered sugar to it. So, my husband and my son were very glad yesterday to... Uh, have some homemade cookies and it made them very happy. So y'all look, they're cute. Okay. Oh goodness, I just dropped a whole cup of water. Y'all, y'all would not even believe. Last night when I was cleaning up, I um <laughs> I busted my one of my pendant lights with a tray. So it was, I'm just spilling, and I've already dropped like a bunch of stuff today. It's one of those days. Let's see, somebody said butter, and maybe you could double the butter instead of shortening margarine, lemon juice or vinegar for the cream of tartar. Oh, y'all are so smart. I knew y'all would have great ideas. Okay, so let's, let's try to do my uh, crazy potato egg. <laughs> See if we can make it make it look like an egg. Yeah, maybe. And I've got a butterfly. do one more cross just in white I've got some I've got 
some sprinkles that we're going to put on too to make them to jazz them up a little bit. <laughs> Y'all, I need to go back to bed. I am dropping everything. Like I said, I just dropped a whole cup of water. I'm going to clean that up as soon as we get off. And now I've got my cross looking like a, a kind of a hot mess, but. Okay, I don't think we've done, we haven't done a heart yet. So let's have a green heart. Seems like a good idea to me. Uh, we've only got one more minute for the other ones. I want you all to see them when they come out so you can see how they fluff up. Okay. Now, let's see, I've got, I'm gonna go for it with the sprinkles because apparently I'm gonna be having to mop my floor anyway since I keep dropping everything. Rita said, I think maybe butter and a little oil or shortening, or a little oil for the shortening, but she couldn't remember the proportions. So I think, I think, I think there's definitely some ways to do it. Let's see, what should I put on the, we'll try to put these hot pink. Oh, those are out. That's not gonna work. Okay, let's put these on top of the. Those are cute. And I've got these purple ones that I wanted to put on my cross. Oh, I see. Y'all, it is a day. What in the world? Oh, those are cute. I'm gonna put some purple ones on my little butterfly too. Okay, let me check these. Hopefully I don't fall down with the... Okay, I think I need one more minute. Then I'll give us time to... Y'all should see my floor. I mean, it is a hot mess in here. Okay, I love these white sprinkles. They're so, they're just, I don't know if y'all can see them, but they're very kind of iridescent. Or they're clear, I guess. They're not white. They're kind of like, I don't know if y'all can see. They're really cute. They're shimmery. That's the word I was looking for, shimmery. Um, what else do we want to do? I'm afraid, well, this is probably going to look Christmassy, but it's okay. This just dresses them up a little bit. Woo! Those came out. All right, now, I should have thought of something, but... <laughs> I'm going to have to move this to a plate. And if you let them dry like several hours, you can stack them. And I'm going to show you all a gifting idea too. So here they are. They're so cute. All right. Let me grab these out and try not to fall. Can y'all see how they puffed up? And they're still really pale on the top, but on the bottom, they're golden. So I'll try to show y'all that. Let me get a spatula. And they look like they would fall apart, but they're, see how that one's golden? And so you do want to go ahead and put these on a cookie or a cooling rack. And I'll do that when we, when I get off of here. But I did want to show y'all that um, I thought a great idea with everything going on now, and now I can't find it. Oh, honey, is to maybe if you have, even if you have just like Ziploc bags or something, to package them up and maybe leave them 
for your mailman or your trash man or I don't know your UPS or drop them at you know your friends doors that you can't see right now but you want to send them some love and write them a little note or something like that so anyway I hope that y'all enjoyed the sugar cookies and all the craziness going on over here in this house me dropping and breaking everything in sight so <laughs> I hope y'all have a great day and a wonderful Easter and y'all enjoy your families see y'all later bye